my inspiration to go to base each newborn day. He guides me, he leads me, each step along the way. He helps me face each problem that causes me distress. He lifts my soul and spirits to bring me happiness. He comforts and sustains me in times of grief and pain. He gives me hope and courage, a brighter outlook gain. He grants me, grants to me forgiveness, those sins that, that I may I be. And despite my many faults, I know that he loves me. Yeah. And I think that's the end of my announcements. No, I think that's the end of my announcements and now it's your time. Yes. Come on, y'all, let's give mama a hand. Come on, I think we can do better than that. Let's give it up. I'm able to do that at 85. Amen. I'm 54, and I don't think I can do some of the things that she does, but we thank God. Amen for her. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm just excited Amen. about what God is doing. Amen. Amen. I want to tell the Cedar Grove that the best is yet to come. Amen. 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 Can I can I get Cedar Grove to believe that and clap your hands? Come on. That the best is yet to come. Amen. And I believe that God is doing a great thing. Amen. Amen. As it relates to his house. Amen. As it relates to uh, even this particular house, the Cedar Grove uh, Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, this uh, this week, uh, everybody say this week. This yes. week. Uh, I want you to hear me. Hear me, ma'am. Hear me, sir. I want you to enter into one week, uh, starting tonight, um, in a time of prayer. Y'all quiet. In a time of prayer. Yeah. And a time of fasting. Yeah. Every time around this year, I usually pray and fast on some particular thing, some particular uh, situation. All right. And God never comes up short. Yes. God always, how many know he answers prayer? God yes. answers yes. prayer. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let me say it again. How many know God answers prayer? Yes. Amen. Somebody go ahead and God answers prayer. And uh, we thank him. Uh, if you can, uh, enter into this week. Uh, starting tonight, after you eat tonight, and if you are able, uh, I pray that if you're not writing it down, you can spiritually um, uh, know this, but when you uh, go to sleep tonight, uh, pray specifically uh, for yourself, first of all, and then pray for your, your church, uh, and pray uh, this prayer, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Uh, on earth as it is as it already has been done in heaven and so um, this week I am entering into a week of prayer and fasting myself and I'm asking you if you can uh, to do the same thing and somebody asked you what are we what are we doing at Cedar Grove this week we have entered into one week of prayer and fasting how are you going to do your best to come on into prayer and fasting I know some of you may be saying, uh, that mean I can't eat no chicken this week. What I'm asking you to do is to um, eat less meat as you can. I'm not saying not to, but eat less meat as you can. Uh, and do more praying than you do anything this week. Amen. Um, so uh, this week from Sunday to Sunday, I want us to take a week of prayer and fasting. Uh, this week and I want us to seek the face of God and uh, see what God has for us for this year. Amen. 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 And so we're going to do that. At this time I'm going to have a um, going to have prayer. Going to have prayer. Um, going to have prayer this 
morning. And I'm going to ask Deacon Anderson if he would come and pray. To give you the glory, to give you the honor, because you're worthy. You're worthy of it. You're worthy of it, dear Heavenly Father, Lord. You know each and every issue we're going through. You know each and every problem that we can think of, dear Heavenly Father. But we know that you're still on the throne. And you're guiding our footsteps, dear Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, we pray for the sick and the shut in, dear Heavenly Father, Lord. We pray for growth in, in this house, dear Heavenly Father, Lord. Have your way this morning, oh God. Have your way this afternoon. And have your way this night, dear Heavenly Father, Lord. Use this house as a beacon, dear Heavenly Father, for your word, dear God. We pray, we pray for growth in this house, dear Heavenly Father. We pray for growth in each and every one of us, dear God. And dear Lord, we ask, dear Heavenly Father, for all those who are on their way, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, give them traveling mercies, dear Heavenly Father, that when they get here, they were willing to work, and they'll do your service, dear Heavenly Father. And dear Lord, we pray all this in your name, dear Heavenly Father, as we go further in your service to God. Dear Lord, we pray that you would just manifest in this house, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, pour out your spirit in this house, dear Heavenly Father, Lord. Let the Holy Ghost just dwell in this place, dear Heavenly Father, Lord. Let it be a sweet sound unto you, dear Heavenly Father. Our praise, dear Heavenly Father. Our worship, dear Heavenly Father. Let it be the sweet savor unto you, dear Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, we pray all of this in your name. And we say amen. amen.
the Lord's face yeah. in prayer. Yeah. The story is told real quickly of two lumberjacks. Mm. An older lumberjack and a younger lumberjack. Mm. Both known for their expertise and speed. Yes. All right. The younger challenged the older to a lumberjack contest <laughs> to see who could cut down the most trees in one day. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, the contest began. Well. The younger man with his vim, vigor, and vitality <laughs> began to earnestly chop down one tree after another without stopping. Yeah. He soon noticed that the older lumberjack Chop trees, watch this, for one hour, and for 15 minutes he took a break. Mm. At the end of the day, watch this, when, when the trees were counted, well. <laughs> the older lumberjack had chopped down one third more trees than the younger. Yes. Puzzled was the younger lumberjack. Mm. He asked how to the older lumberjack, how could you? Take a break every hour. Amen. And cut down more trees than I did nonstop all day. Hallelujah. The older lumberjack responded, he said, because uh, when I paused from chopping, Hallelujah. I kept sharpening my axe. Right. Yes. When we pray, brothers and sisters, when we get in the face of God, when we seek uh, the face of God, y'all ain't saying nothing, all we really do is, uh, is just sharpening our axe. Yeah. There are some people who don't know uh, why you show up on Sunday, uh, it's raining outside, but yet uh, you are in the house of, of God uh, one more time. Uh, can you let the enemy know all I'm doing uh, is just sharpening uh, up my axe. Uh, yes, I come uh, and the house uh, is not filled yet, uh, but I keep coming uh, because all I'm doing uh, is just sharpening uh, up my axe. Is there anybody up in here? Uh, I know uh, that you love God, uh, but every once in a while uh, you need uh, your Axe to be sharpened. There are those who understand. Watch this. You can cut, you can cut off the nonsense mm. if you learn how to sharpen your axe. Y'all yeah. ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Because when you sharpen your axe, now you're able to cut stuff that needs to be cut. Yeah. I heard the Lord say, listen, if your left hand offends you, you got to have a sharp axe and do what? Cut it off. Cut off enemies uh, yes. who don't mean you no good. Yeah. Yes. Cut off people yeah. who, who are just who are just who are just in your circle but not really connected to you. Can you say cut it off? Yeah. Okay, y'all don't believe I believe in cut. Let me tell you what the Bible says in Psalm 37, verse 1 and 2. It says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thy envious of evil workers, for they shall soon be cut off. Yeah. Don't you know when you pray, you sharpen up your axe, but watch this, you really don't do the cutting God do. Y'all yes, ain't saying nothing. Yeah. And how many of you know God knows how to cut? Yes. But watch this. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a text. But but because you are getting ready to pray, mm -hmm. some stuff is getting ready to wither away. All right. Amen. Amen. Don't don't you know that when you pray, that you have to pray, Thy kingdom come. Yes. Yes. Thy will be done. Yes. Yeah. When you pray, you put God in the driver's seat. Yeah. Yeah. And you say, right on, King Jesus. Yeah. Let no man hinder you. Yeah. And you know, I don't know about you, but this year in 2023, I don't want to do it my way. But I want to do it God's way. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anybody here, you want to do it the Lord's way. You, you want to open up your mouth uh, and say, Lord, uh, I want to do it uh, your way. Yes. And the Bible says, watch this, uh, that Jesus uh, was in uh, a certain place. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he was praying uh, in a certain place. I love uh, that the Bible says that Jesus uh, was in uh, a certain place. Uh, yeah. Because uh, that means uh, you can pray.
pray no matter where you are. I know you get a cubicle at the job, but you know you can have a little talk with Jesus and tell him all about your troubles. He'll hear your faintest cry. He'll answer by and by. Is there anybody here? You remember in the old school church, we said Jesus is on the main line. And all you got to do is just call him up and tell him what you want. If your body is sick, you can call him up. You can tell him what you want. If you need to get well, you can call him up and tell him what you want. If you need your soul saved, you can call him up and tell him what you want. Is there anybody here? You have to call the Lord. You ought to open up your mouth and give God to the Lord. Because when you called him, he showed up and he showed up on time. When you called him, he healed your body. When you called him, he paid your bills. When you called him, he touched your body. He opened up your lungs. He touched your heart. He put down the blood pressure. You ought to open your mouth and let the enemy know. I'm getting ready to call on God. Who are you calling on? The King of Kings. Who are you calling on? The Lord of Lords. Who are you calling on? The Great I Am. Who are you calling on? The Lily of the Valley. Who are you calling on? He's a great God. What a mighty God we serve. How great is He? Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. The Lord of God we serve. Open up your mouth. Say what a mighty God we serve. Ain't God alright? I don't know about you, but I've been calling on God for 54 years of my life. Ain't God alright? Can you say yes? Somebody say yes. Say yes. Come on, help me.
five sisters. I'm the only boy. Amen. Three older, two younger. When I was on my way to church this morning, I was in tears. I'm going to tell you why. There was a song that came on that a change has come over. Yeah. Amen. Yes, don't do that. You know, a change has come over you. and spending time with God. I said that to tell you because God, when we talk about a change, God changes things. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And from, from not being able, as they say, to live for three days, I'm 54 years old. Born, born with undeveloped blood. Let me testify for a minute. And the doctor said, well, he lived after that. He ain't gonna never be able to run. Mm -hmm. yeah. my, 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 my. He ain't gonna be able to walk. He won't be able to really talk good. Amen. It's gonna be a long time before he sit up. I shout on Sundays. Yes, yes. Because the doctors and the devil said I wasn't gonna be able to. So now that I can. Yes, well, make a joyful, y'all ain't saying that. If I got to do it by myself, I'll make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And I give God glory. When I see Maddie Wilson, I'm, I'm glad for Maddie Wilson, not just that, but the one I had, who didn't believe what the doctor said. But went home and got on her bended knees and said, Father, I stretch my hand unto thee. Every year you with my birthday, mama will come and get me. Y'all let me get it off me today and I'm gonna get out of here. Let me get it off of me. And come and grab me on my birthday out of all our children and we would get on our knees. And as a kid, I'd be down there laughing because I didn't really know what prayer was all about. And she said, son, whatever you pray, when you get finished praying, I need you to close this prayer. And I'm laughing. Okay, mama, I'm laughing. In Jesus' name. She said, that seals the deal of your prayer when you're talking to him. And when you say, in the name of Jesus, something is happening in the midst of when you say, in the name of Jesus. Can you lift your hand and just say, in the name of Jesus? Come on, give it to him. In the name of Yo, he got a name that is above every name. That in the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Confess. My, 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 my. That Jesus is Lord. Come on, if you're saved, if you're born again, let me see you slip up that, slip up that sanctified hand. That you're saved, that you are born again. Slip that hand up today. I need you to do it one more time. Just so I can see you in the house. Thank God that the house is safe. Listen, real quickly, uh, real quickly, uh, on last week, me and Deacon Smith, lift your hand, Deacon Smith. I was telling Sister Shannon on yesterday, the church don't have deacons. They do. Whenever I'm here, they, these, these deacons are going to be here. Amen. amen. Somebody ought to say amen. These deacons are going to be here. But let me, let me prophesy if I can. God is getting ready. I promise you, there was such a sweet spirit on Thursday. Am I stand up, Smith? There was a sweet spirit on Thursday that we were in this neighborhood. We didn't have to put it out there that we were out here. 
we never posted, but we're out here in this neighborhood and we were, we were meeting people. We were telling people that this church is open at 8 o'clock in the morning. Amen. A lot of people say, where y'all at? We we're right over here off 8th Ave. And people say, we come and let me tell you this, even though you don't see up this morning, well, it doesn't mean that that seed is not planted. Yeah, right. If the Lord said the same, whether I'm here or not Sunday, I'm coming back again Thursday. All right. And I'm going to pass out more flyers. Amen. I want to see drunks come in and become deacons. Y'all too quiet. I want to see prostitutes come in and be on the praise team. Hallelujah. I want those that have had an ugly life to come in and be on the usher ministry. Yeah. Yes. And I can see 20 ushers marching around during tithes and offering. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Open our eyes. That's what I want God to do. Open your eyes. How many want your church to be blessed? Yeah. You want your church to be blessed. I want the church to be blessed too. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. I know we gotta go, y'all. I y'all had to be in my truck with me this morning. And that song came on and it, it just it, it just got to my spirit. And I just thank God for what he's doing in my life. But I thank God for what he's doing in the life of Cedar Grove. I think what he's doing in the life of the church, which I give leadership to in Compton. I've been there 20 years. Amen. I've been part of two churches in my whole life. I don't know why I got all this on me today. Two churches in my whole life. My own church, Grace Temple. Hallelujah. And the church that I pastor. Amen. I don't go from all over to all over. I get to it and I just do what I have to do. Amen. Because that's the assignment that God has given. Can the church say amen? Come on, let's give God a chance. Come on, one more time, let's give God praise. Amen. Listen, let's get our tithe and offering. I, I wanted to do it this way. Sometimes we feel better when we feel better when we give more. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, listen, I have $120 here. I want to sow this seed today. It ain't no show out. It's just a show up. Amen. And uh, we let's, let's grab one of the giving baskets. D, let's get our tithes and offering real quickly. Let's get our tithes and offering real quickly. I want to give mama a break today. Amen. Give her a break. Uh, let's get our tithes and offering on today. If you can, if you can um, get close to what I have, please do that. 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 And ushers, you guys, y'all want to come on down as usual? Come on, let's do that. Let's march around. Let's march around. Let's do that. Will the house please stand? And please follow the ushers.
Come on, give God a hand of praise on today. I'm, 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 I'm blessed to see a young man still know the, the old school right. <laughs> music. Somebody say amen. amen. I mean, you know, it's not always about hip hop all the time. Amen. Sometimes you got to go back to them old school songs. Amen. Those songs of Zion. Amen. Think, uh, is, is that Bishop Wallace? Yes. Yes. Come on, y'all. Let's thank God for Bishop. Come on. Let's thank God. <laughs> Bishop Wallace, man, just out on the strip. How old are you? I want to look that good as a bishop when I get 70. Yeah. You know, I think I'm going to let my beard grow out like that a little bit too. Somebody say amen. amen. Looks good. Uh, thank God for these deacons, musicians, everybody. It's going to be a good year. Amen. amen. The good year blimp. It's going to be a good, good year this year. I believe that. Can the church say amen? amen. Um, let's all stand. Let's all stand. That's one hour of power. One hour of power to be exact. I pray I didn't forget anything or anybody on today. I pray I didn't forget anything or anybody on today. Uh, we're getting ready to go. Um, some of us going home. Some of us going to church. Some of us going to the park. Nobody's going to the beach right now, though. If you do, amen, let me know because I think something wrong, amen. Enjoy your day, though, and, and please, on next week, if you can, from, from Sunday, as you go to sleep once again, and then if you wake up, if you can go without eating until 2, unless medication tells you not to, go until about 2 o'clock before you eat during that time, I really would love for you to be in a time of prayer and fasting. It's not enough just to fast. you got to pray while you're fasting. And uh, we know that uh, uh, when you fast, that God takes down strongholds. Amen. Yeah. And so we want God to uh, bring liberty and freedom uh, in ministry. All right. Uh, lift your hand. We want to pray. Uh, we thank God for you. Father, how we thank you and we praise you for the things that you have done. We thank you for what you are doing and what you shall do. We lift up this ministry to you. You told us that, Lord, teach us to pray. Lord, we want to pray more than we pout. We want to call you more than we complain. Yes. Thank you for your word. Thank you for every musician. Thank you for every member. Thank you, God, even for the men of God that graces this house. I pray for them. Thank you for Dr. Yancey. Thank you for Bishop Wallace. Thank you for these deacons. And God, I even thank you for myself. Continue to give me strength to do your will, still to do your will, to do it your way. I thank you for Nye, who every Sunday give you praise and worship. I pray that you touch Mama Wilson's body. I come against the spirit of worry. I come against the spirit of anxiety. I come against the spirit of depression. Satan, we say to you, be gone. We know the thief coming to steal, kill, and to destroy. But you said, I've come that we might have life and to have it more abundantly. Mama Wilson, I don't know how long you will see me, but lift that hand up. I need to tell you, lift that hand up. No, lift that hand up as much as you can. Listen to me. Jesus said, take no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow is going to take care of his own self. But he got on down there and said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. That's not what I said. That's what the Lord said. Ushers, hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. Hold your hands up. Hold your hands up. No, the Lord wants 
a touch. I'm not trying to hold your time. That's right, y'all. Ushers, hold her hand up. Hold her hand up. Yes. 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 When Moses' hand got tired, he had Aaron and her to keep his hands lifted up. When he, his hands was lifted, he won the battle. When his hands went down, Abimelech won the battle. So we're going to keep our hands lifted. I need everybody to shout in Jesus' name. So it is. And it is so. Now I want to him that is able to keep us from falling. And to present us faultless with exceeding great joy to the only wise God. It's now and forevermore. And all of the people said amen and amen. You are dismissed. You are dismissed. Please. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Sister Shannon told me on your way out, uh, put put a love offering in the basket. Amen. Amen. Put a love offering in the basket. Uh, Deacon Anderson, uh, hold that. Hold that right there. Okay. Amen. For the for the sake of giving, if that love offering is for me, please make sure it goes to the church today. Amen. 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 Guess what? I love y'all.